Okay, so in this video, we're gonna put together our count treat bag. And we're gonna begin with our black pieces using AC cardstock here. And we've got two of these. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that I've got everything folded at the score marks. These are, and I may be a little biased here, but these are the cutest Halloween treat bags I've seen anywhere. And thanks to the brilliant design of Ron and the perfect engineering by Diana, I cannot wait to give these to a couple little kids that, that I know. And I just know they're gonna love them. So I'm taking these two pieces and attaching them together with that little tab there. And I went a little way too heavy on the glue here. So I'm just gonna rub that off. Now luckily, we have liners that go over those areas there. So fear not, it's totally fine. Next thing we're gonna do is put some glue on this tab here and then get a nice little line up close to the edge there. And I'm actually going to just use my finger to make sure that I get it nice and to the edge there. And I've got it flat right now because that's gonna make sure that I've got everything nice and perfectly aligned. If it sits flat, you know that you've got it perfectly aligned. It should be able to fold both ways perfectly, okay? And there is that, okay? And now, and at this point, what we can go ahead and do is, we've got three pieces that are this size, in this shape. Um, these two are gonna go on the bottom, and we did three layers because we wanted to reinforce it just to make sure that when you did fill this up with candy, that the bottom wouldn't fall out. Um, so the black one goes inside, that's our liner. We've got two of these pieces here that, we're gonna glue on one at a time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue one down first. And I'm getting that little line of glue up to the edge there. Just wanna make sure that I get my first one on perfectly, because that's gonna set the tone for the rest of them. So just make sure that you've got that nice and aligned on both sides, and then we can take it. Oops, oh geez. I'm sure you guys have done that before, huh? Okay, there we go. And I think you just had a realization here that it's almost better to wait for the glue to dry a little bit before putting that piece on, because it seems to, seems to stick better actually. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the remaining tabs here and get a nice line out to the edge. Okay, try not to glob it too much like I just did because I'm going to have to get my finger messy now. Okay, and then one more tab here. Get glue onto that one. And again, try to get a little bit of glue out to the edge to make those corners and edges nice and seamless. And then you can go ahead and close this up like so. Make sure that you've got it nice and aligned. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip this on like this. And then you can push down from the bottom to make sure that those tabs get a good grip. Okay, so there's your bottom piece. You're going to put your other bottom piece on once that's dry. So you have two of those on the bottom, okay? And then you've got your liner. So you can go ahead and put glue inside and drop your liner inside. And that's going to reinforce it even more. And then the fun part begins. And that is um, putting our, our decorative panels on. Now you've got two of these, one for each side. Okay, you've got the little slit there. That's where the ears are gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna glue one of these down because I wanna show you how the ears work. 
So just make sure you don't get glue on the slit. You want to kind of keep that glue free because we do need to poke his ears through there. Okay. So we're just going to get that glued into place. Just make sure that the hole for the brad here is nice and lined up. Even if it's off a little bit, the brad doesn't require that much clearance to go through, but there's absolutely no reason why you can't get it perfect. So just get that into place. Okay, this is the front. This is where his, this is the top of his head. This is the back. There's another piece that goes on the back. Now, before you start putting glue on, turn this a couple times and just make sure that you have it right, okay? It only goes on one way. And I have this flat right now, and you can see that that is not the correct way. It needs to go this way, okay? So make sure you get that glued on correctly. So that's the back. Here's the other side piece, which I already put on one side. So you wanna make sure you get that glued into place. And then you can go ahead and begin piecing his face, okay? Now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna actually piece this or I'm not gonna glue it, but I will piece it for you so that you can see how it all works. Okay, it's actually very simple. This takes, takes a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. So first thing you can do is you can grab his teeth and get his teeth glued into place. Okay, and it should fit perfectly like a little puzzle. So just pop some glue in there and get that glued into place. Okay, we've got his little nose. Now you will notice too that we've got little score marks on his face here to help you with the alignment of all these pieces. Um, just to make it easier so that you can reproduce this thing perfectly each time. Okay, and then we've got a piece for his cool haircut. Okay, and that's gonna go here. There are some score marks up there to guide you. So that's where that piece goes. And then you've got a middle piece here. And then you've got this piece here. Okay, so just follow the score marks and just make sure that when you're gluing it that you get it within that score mark area. Okay, and then all that's left is his eyes and his ears and then his little, his little collar for his cape. Okay, so you've got two eyeballs Okay, one where the actual eyeball is at the bottom, that is his right eye. And what I did was I actually glued these pieces together first. Okay, so let me just move this out of the way. I glued these pieces together first, and it only goes together one way. Okay, so this one goes like this. And when you're gluing these together, just kind of use, make sure that for his right eye, that all these pieces are nice and flush at the top, okay? And it should kind of look like that, okay? So once that's all glued together, you can go ahead and, again, there are little guides here for his eyes. So you can get that glued into place. Same with his left eye. Left eye. Okay, you can get that glued like so. And then the orange piece goes like that. And then that gets glued on his face right there. Okay. Uh, we actually used little rhinestones to kind of create that reflection look in his eyes. Okay, but that's his face. So I'm gonna take his face off, which is kind of morbid, but it's perfect because it is Halloween. And what we can take a look at is his ears. So you've got a left ear and a right ear, and you want the pointed part on top, okay? And you've got the inner part of the ear here. So you wanna get that glued into place first, like so, on both sides. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna slide his ear through this slit here, okay? And then you can take and put a little bit of glue on that tab in there and just glue that down into place like that. Okay, so you're gonna glue that in there and then his ear will be in place as will his other ear, okay? And now for the count, he does have a little collar 
okay? And that's made up of these two pieces. So you're just gonna glue these two pieces on. And what I did before I did any gluing was kind of just, um, I took a pencil and I curved this back a little bit, okay? So it has like a nice curve to it to make it look more natural so it's not so stiff. I don't think the Count uses starch to stiffen his collar. So you wanna just kind of flare that back before you glue it on. If you try to glue it on and then flare it, the pieces are probably gonna come undone. Okay, so there is a, uh, it's actually seamless at the bottom or flush at the bottom here, but there is a nice border going all the way around the rest of it. Okay, so um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put glue on the base of this on the bottom and just glue that flush with the bottom. So it pops out like that. Now let me show you what the final version looks like so you can see how we did it. Okay, so there you go. You can see how, isn't that super cute? And then all that's really left to do is the handle. And the handle's actually very simple. Uh, the one thing that you do wanna do before you glue the handle together is take this piece and grip it on both ends and just run it across the edge of your table to give it a nice curve, okay? You wanna do that with all four of these pieces before you do any gluing at all. Make sure they've got a real nice curve because when you try to glue this handle together and you try to attach the purple to the orange pieces, it's gonna be very helpful that these already have a nice curve to them. Okay, so take a look at these two pieces. One of them has a series of score marks on it. Okay, you can see the score marks there. And that is the point where you want to glue this. And you wanna just make sure that this little scallop here uh, matches up. Okay, so that is kind of your end mark for your glue. You don't wanna go beyond that point. And you can just go ahead and put glue on there and kind of maybe get some into the little scallop area. Okay, and again, use that little score mark as a guide, don't go past it. And then put your fingers into the little valleys here just to make sure that you've got everything nice and aligned. And then you can push down and you can see that it's got a nice natural bend to it now. And same goes with this piece here. This also has some score marks on it, as you can see there. So that is the point in which you don't wanna put glue beyond that point. So we get that nice and glued down to the other piece. Okay, just like that. And just push and hold that down. Make sure it gets a good hold. And then all that's left to do is take and glue these two pieces together and just make sure that the holes align when you glue that down like that, okay? And then when you're done, it'll be one piece. And all you're gonna do, just like we did here, is we just put a brad right through there to hold it into place. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.